What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we've got Freddy who finished second at an online regionals to play TCG online regionals with Blue Croc. What is up, Freddy? What's up, man? Long time, first time, happy to be on the channel. Absolutely. This is, Freddy is one of our DMV locals. He is absolutely insane at the game. Picked up Blue Croc and decided to take it for a whirl. He said he picked it up on a whim. Talk to us about it. Why, why Blue Croc? Why'd you just land on it and why'd you pop off? Yeah, so... I, in set three, I was all Zoro guy. I got burnt out. It's like, I needed something. I needed a palate cleanser. I initially wanted to do a Rebecca. I okay. played against a bunch of people who were like, oh, I've never played a Rebecca before. And then they just like creamed to me with Kata or Queen. So I was like, okay, this isn't it. <laughs> I saw Grayson's top croc list from like two weeks ago. And I was like, yeah, it seems, it seems fine. So I was going to try it out, you know, just for the vibes. And, uh, it really did work out. I was pleasantly surprised. It yeah. it looks like a pile, but yeah. it's a pile of good cards. Yeah. All right. I mean, let, let me like talk to us about the pile. Like, list has a lot of couple of weird counts in here. Just talk us through uh, some of the counts in your decision making behind the list. Yeah. So, the counts in the decision making. Uh, <laughs> it's all like what Grayson figured out. Uh, all, all I right. did was cut two cards and add two alties because the deck currently. The deck before it had very few cards that are good against Law and Zoro. Okay. So you know you need some you need something. Um, I'll just go down the line. Uh, kind of weird sorting from uh, Card Game Dev, but just starting at the very <laughs> top, you have the four Kaya's. Kaya's actually like one of the best two K counters. Like just the draw two and discard two in a deck like this where all of the cards are crazy on curve and then kind of like bad off of curve. Just being able to like smooth out your draws is very good. You can like pick the Kaias up with your ultis or your your Kaidos or your like crocodile effects. So it's not like a playing it and it isn't like losing a 2k counter like it is like an Otama in Zoro. Mm -hmm. uh, next in the list, and Sasaki is pretty much the exact same thing as Kaya. Uh, you just want to find the right cards at the right time. Both of them help you find it. Uh, Sasaki is actually a real body. Um, I've never played him before, but, you know, he attacks for five. It's probably fine. <laughs> or he, he attacks for five with one Dawn. Um, next card, Miss All Sunday. Uh, looping events is, like, really, really, really good in some matchups and, like, kind of meaningless in other matchups. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people love this card. I'm, like, I'm, like, okay with this card. I'm, like, I'm always an event hater. Like, since set oh, one, I've, like, okay. I've hated Punk Gibson in green. I just, like, don't want to play events. But... The events in this deck are actually just like so good that you know i'll suck it up yeah mm -hmm. uh we got two alvitas theoretically it's good against lon zoro but if they ever get like marco to vista it's such a nightmare so <laughs> it's you know it's just a blank piece of cardboard that says 2k counter sure yeah uh four dofi like actually a crazy card um like a like 4k bot blocker is very good to dodge all of the 3k pops and I almost think it's like better than like a Nami or an Ezo Searcher in this kind of deck. You you just want like specific cards. If you know if you need a Red Rock, look at the top five. If it's not there, just put it away. Mm -hmm. If it is there, you know like stack the two Ks to the top and then get the Red Rock on the turn that you know you'll need it. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, two Ultis. It's like uh, Ulti and Soga King are like kind of very similar cards where they're like crazy on curve, and then one K when they're not on curve. Ulti is very good into like the aggro matchups, Lawn Zoro, and like randomly good against like Nami and sometimes Whitebeard. Uh, she can even pick up your own cards. Like you can play Akaya and just like pick it up with your ulti effect later. I've never done that, but it's it's probably good. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to Sasaki, like I said, it's, it's just like another Kaya. You got to find the oddly specific cards for the specific situation. You don't. If your hand is like so bad and you have a Sasaki, it's like it gives you a chance to win. You don't have to like sit there with a terrible hand all game. Um, moving on, we got four Ascent Tomorrows, probably the best card in the deck. This deck has awful early game, and this like glides you all the way to late game. You, you know, you fish out some vanilla pacifistas, and then once you know that you're not gonna get any more because, like, you know, you're gonna play a Mihawk or a Kaido next turn. You just start swinging with it, so it's just a. He just like generates two bodies, and then you attack with it. They they pretty much have to attack into it, so it's like a pseudo blocker. 
uh, pacifist accounts, three vanillas, two blockers. It felt fine. I I used to have four vanillas, two blockers. I kind of missed the fourth vanilla. I ran out of them at locals a few times. Um, and I'm just a like a vanilla 6k stan. So sure, yeah, uh, I'd, I'd play as many of those as I could. <clears throat> um, the Kumas were fine. Uh, in the past, they've been nice against yellow, where like sometimes they have to like thunderbolt you to clear out a blocker and go for game. Just having like a, a sticky blocker who could put down another blocker is very good. Mm -hmm. I know Grayson like cut them from his future list, which is like I, I think I think it's justifiable. Uh, da -da -da, blocker past the Fisa, just a you know just a big boy. Uh, it's nice to fish out with Centamaro. Sometimes you can do weird things with Centamaro where you like attack with it and you get a blocker pacifista and then they can't like attack the cento for four back because you could just block uh minor stuff but it comes up uh two soga king like the perfect seven or eight dawn card and then just a 1k otherwise uh this deck is like relative it, it's it's not like bricky per se but it's like you want like one of every single card and then the second of each card is like less good so soga king just smooths things out um and then it's a 1k if you don't need it. You, you'll, you generally know if it's going to be good or bad just based on your hand mm -hmm. and how the board is. Uh, moving on to the top end, you got four Mihawks, two Kaidos. I feel like I'd play six Mihawks if I could because it's just good into everyone. Um, Kaido is like only good into specific matchups, but it's like really good into those matchups. Like some of the bigger decks, like Green Purple Dofi or like White Beard, it's really good. I think it's fine into big mom like you can you can bounce their like katakuri or whatever and it's a little clunky for them to replay but it's not like it's kind of like awful to have against law it's mm -hmm. like they just replay it for they replay all their stuff for free it doesn't right. matter mm -hmm. um but mihawk's like good against everyone i bottom decked a lot of like thatches seven cost luffy's um and just like big cards that they committed a lot of dawn to play and then it just like did nothing for them so it's very good uh, moving on to the events, three Dragon Twister. It's like your best card against aggro decks. Like people, I feel like some of the laws that played against didn't really expect to lose a one drop out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think one of my Namis didn't expect to lose their Kaya out of nowhere. They had like a, a Kaya in play and a six dawn turn, so it's like you know they're gonna Zeph pick up the Kaya and then do whatever. But he just attacked with leader first. I Dragon Twistered, sent the Kaya back. And then he just, like, had nothing to do that turn. Uh, the, it's also a card that's, like, the trigger is way better than the actual card. Mm -hmm. It bounces a six cost, on like, on trigger. And I bounced a Whitebeard player's Thatch, which is kind of crazy. And then he, like, replayed the Thatch, and I Mihawked it. So he, like, <laughs> double time-walked himself with it. Yeah, that's such a feels bad. <laughs> yeah. I, things worked out for him. That was the guy who got third. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, besides that matchup, he was doing great all day. Uh, the f four Red Rock, four 3,000 Worlds, they're both, like, crazy cards. Um, like, Red Rock is your only answer to, like, big top-end threats. It's, like, the only reason that Yellow is winnable, just because you can, like, loop Red Rocks with your Missile Sundays against mm -hmm. their 10-cost moms. Three, four, like, 3,000 Worlds kind of decent against everyone, and, like, it's a good anti-aggro tool when this deck, I feel like, doesn't have many. Mm -hmm. And all of these cards were like triggering for me all day. It's there's eleven like killer triggers in life in this deck. Uh, that's like that's like a buggy search, you know. You'll probably get one each game. Yeah, sure, that's sick. fair. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Thank you for the breakdown on the list. Now, I mean, what we're here for is you know the breakdown of the matchups too. So just run yeah. us run us through the day, kind of like tell us how you're feeling going in, what you were expecting, and and how how you felt each round. I was kind of just playing this for participation like i right. played croc to like reasonable success locally like i got like two four ones and then some a couple x2s i liked a lot of the matchups except law and zoro i think this current format like you kind of just got to like pick your poison and just like fade some of the bad matchups like there's like some deck that like wrecks every deck right now it's just the rock paper scissors meta um if you can fade your bad, bad matchups or like sneak a win against one of them, then like you're in a really good spot. So, um, I, I'm like comfortable into pretty much everything except Law and Zoro. 
I've heard a lot of people say Kata is like pretty good into Croc. I don't know. Like I've always been comfortable against Katas. Like when I was playing Zoro, it's like I wanted to see a Kata every single round when I'm playing this deck. You're crazy. I, 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 I wants is kind of strong, <laughs> but I feel favored against Kata pretty much since ever since that deck's come out. Unless I'm on Rebecca, then I I don't know what to do. So I'll just go down the line of the matchups. If Pretty much every time I've showed someone my matchups, they're like, oh my god, this is crazy. I think I think any pretty much anyone in my seat playing this deck might have been able to get like seven and oh. Like with how good my draws are and with sure. like the way this deck works. Like your good cards, if you see them on curve, are all very good and they overpower your opponents. So starting from the top, I was against a Katakuri. Generally my strategy is just to like pretty much take all of the hits go to zero and then like gum up the board with blockers and kind of like chip them out like you need you really do need a scent tomorrow just to like have the army in a can but other than that like your mihawks and your kaidos end up like pretty decent against them like looping miss all sundays is very good against them just any cheap blocker is good against that deck uh a stray thunderbolt could kill you but you know, that stray Thunderbolt kills, like, every deck. So, you just have to live with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next round, I faced a local buddy playing on Vivi. He's a, a gaming giant local. It feels <laughs> kind of bad to face someone round two uh, that you know. Uh, especially, you know, he's playing Vivi. He's on a base deck. But, you know, I had too many Mihawks, so it didn't really matter. Like, I was able to just, like, take the entire board with them. And, like, we're we're both playing similar things like we have a lot of minions that like remove each other's minions but i just had a one more so he just dies next round i faced a nami who the bottom deck cards are like very good against nami like i had uh like 3000 worlds i had ulti i had mihawks and like i was just able to like i think i put like four or five cards back into their deck mm -hmm. um so they weren't like close to milling out he told me afterwards that like he I've never heard a Nami player say this before, but he had like too many Sanji's peel-offs. Like, I'm, drawing, <laughs> I'm drawing too many of the good cards. But I, I think the problem that he said was like, he had them all early when yeah. he still wanted to hold up Dawn for events. So he right. couldn't like really use them. Uh, that's the only time I've ever played a Nami with this deck. It seems like it's a tough matchup, but you know, you got, got to get a little lucky. Then I faced a Croc Mirror. I think he had... He had like a pretty different build than me. He had like Peronas. He had the trigger blocker Boas. He had seven cost Dofies instead of Soga Kings. And I think like pretty much all of the different cards I saw in our, our decks, like I saw all of them and none of them like impressed me at all. Like un unfortunately, like he had the seven cost Dofi and it's like I Mihawk it or I think I Kaidoed it and then it just rotted in his hand until the game ended. Um, it was just like a lot of that like all of the unique cards just didn't play out very well uh moving on faced a friend of a friend on whitebeard uh I, unfortunately i forgot his name i think you know him uh deep debo yeah, debo or, yeah yeah Rio yeah, Debo. Yeah. i didn't even i didn't know who he was um but i i drew like infinite 2ks it's so good against whitebeard and like I want to. I do want to see Whitebeards with this deck. You have a good amount of two Ks. A lot of your removal just takes out one of their bodies, and they can't do the same. Like, they they can't like gum up the board with a bunch of choppers. And I think he had like Bardos or something as his blocker, just because you can like three thousand worlds and then like leader affect them back. I think there was a turn where he put down two blockers, and I think he had no Dawn left. I bounced both of the blockers. He had like six cards in hand, and I like. I just put all the Dawn on Mihawk, and I knew for a fact that, like, he couldn't survive. Uh, that's generally how the Whitebeard matchup goes. As long as you can make it to your top end, your top end will kill some of their, like, clunky cards. Mm -hmm. Even, like, Kaido bouncing two cards. Like, you know the vanilla Luffy or the Thatch is not coming down again. Or, right. Because they just lose their entire turn. Uh, then I faced a Film Dofi, where I feel like essentially everything went wrong for him as possible. <laughs> like, I had... I had a Soga King, Mihawk, into Kaido Kaido. Like, this was one of the games where I didn't see Sentamaro, but I saw all the top end. So it was just like him playing something, I Soga King it, 
him playing the Luffy combo where you like Luffy and then like any other film name. I Mihawk I Mihawk the Luffy away and then he's just stuck with like some random Uta. Uh, and then the very next turn I like if he re if he had another Luffy, I think I just like Kaido'd it back to hand. So by the time we got to the very end, he had eight cards in hand. Some of seven of them did not have counter. So he just like died. <laughs> oh my. Uh, yeah, he like revealed his hand. It was like Tesoro, Tesoro, Luffy, Ten Cost Dofi. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he saw all the cards that he wanted to see, and then I just put him right back to his hand. Yeah. Uh, next round, we I played against the White Beard who got third. I Dragon Twisted his Thatch. He replayed it. I Mihawked his Thatch. I don't think I don't think anything else in the game mattered. Um, I don't even know if you can really play around that. Because it was like, he was going second, he played a thatch. The very next turn, he like did Whitebeard for six. I don't I don't think you ever like lead with the thatch. So, um, I don't know. It's it's like a three, I have three dragon twisters. It's super lucky that the one life was the one that like wrecked him. So maybe you just have to like, you just have to hope. Uh, this deck is like a little, it's like a mini Katakuri. You do have some like really b big bombs from life. Um, ba -ba -ba. so I don't, I like killed his thatch. It didn't matter after that. And now we made it to seven and oh at this point. Um, you're cooking. Yeah. I, I think I, I drew a lot of Senamaru's. I had a lot of like triggers from life. Like things were, things were blessed. And now we got to like the two hard matchups. Um, this queen's not necessarily a hard matchup, but like you're both doing very similar kind of things. Right. So it's just who sees better top end. But starting with Zoro, Zoro's actually a nightmare matchup. I, fortunately, I was like watching the stream and I watched him play. So I knew that it's like, okay, this is a white beard pirate Zoro. He's got a lot of events. I literally just watched him like fire eat all Jambe someone. So it's like, you know, that combo is just like flashing in your head. Yeah, you know, you know um, it's there. Yeah. And he, he was a super friendly dude. Uh, we talked afterwards. He was telling me that he, uh, he had a pretty rough night prior. Uh, four hours of sleep, and then he was ready to game. He said no new cards in his deck, and he didn't <laughs> really know the cards in my deck, so I'm, like, sick. Um, I saw all of the good early game stuff against him. Zoro is awful. Like, it's an awful matchup, because all their dudes are so little, and, like, it's like, am I going to, like, attack my, like, 6k pacifista into their little buggy? It's like, it just feels so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I had the... He let me go first, which I was super excited about. Um, he won the die roll and chose to go second. I really wanted to go first, so we're good to go. I had ulti on curve, um, and then I like attack him with the ulti, bottom his dot on, and I had a dragon twister to bottom another one drop. So we actually like he had a pretty meager board, and then like another turn he attacked me with a Zoro, and I triggered a three thousand worlds get rid of the Zoro. So I was able to make it to late game, and we had the, I like a really interesting spot i didn't know it at the time but i'm pretty sure he could have won H hendy told me afterwards or like mm -hmm. you know hendy told dex who told me <laughs> that um he attacked me for 9k uh -huh. i had enough counter for i had 11k counter in hand where if i took the 9k hit i'd be at no life he would be able to attack me for 11k with a fiery doll and i i would die if the card in my life had no counter so I blocked that hit, uh, going down to like one card in hand. Um, he then like swung at me for six. I took the life, and he passed the turn with like two dawn up as a bluff. Um, but the problem with what he should have actually done, mm -hmm. which you know this is all in retrospect. Right. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying anything about about it. Is like if he just put his fiery doll and attacked my mihawk. I, it would have died because I had one card in hand. He could have 11 it. And then he's at one life against me with no board, one attack. And then he could have just, like, Jambe 15 to me next turn. And sure. he would have won. Um, and the card in my life was a non-counter card. So I guess I felt, like, a little vindicated not tanking the hit. But I don't know. May I, I don't know what's the right play there. I didn't see him search a fiery doll. Um, it's generally, like, in low counts. Uh, he even like whiffed a buggy search, which probably doesn't mean much. No. But, but it's just like that was a place where I could have lost. I think he could have won. 
Um, but, you know, we squeaked out a win. Right. Like I said, I had the two perfect cards, a life trigger, and I barely won through, like, a subtle misplay on his side. So right. it is really a nightmare matchup. Terrible matchup. Yeah. Made it to the finals against a queen. Mm-hmm. Um, I played against a queen, like, once before. So I really had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, I, I was messaging Sean prior. It's like, quick, w- w- does queen want to go first or second? Hurry. <laughs> that was the extent of my testing against queen um we had like a I, I think i had like a i thought it was like a fine hand everyone's telling me it was a mulligan in retrospect okay it was like i was going second centamaru dofi blocker miss all sunday miss all sunday mihawk it's everything i wanted to see except for a red rock um i treated the dofi as like a virtual like mulligan for a red rock because he looks at the top five if red rock's not there i just bottom it yeah um but it had everything else i wanted um in in retrospect without any events the missile sundays are kind of bad but it it was like whatever and this was another game where i think we both took we b- both kind of exchanged uh throwing uh, neither of us were super interested in winning the tournament in, in retrospect <laughs> but um so we are I don't know if you saw the VODs, but I was in a situation where I just needed to race him. He had two big boys in play. Sure. I essentially had a, a Pacifista blocker and a Dofi blocker that I had to attack with to chip him down to zero life to set up a kill the next turn. So he, like, starts the turn. I think he, like, started the turn with a Dofi looking at his top five. Uh, I, I generally don't care about the little blockers, and I'm pretty sure I even had the removal spell ready. Um, then he attacks me for nine. I, I think that was actually the first mistake. I'm pretty sure he should have just attacked my rested Dofies. If he's able to get me to no board with him at one life, then like I can never kill him. Yeah, you just have no win con. Yeah, and then like against Queen, they actually just get you into like the infinite where it's like they'll gain one life each turn, and I can only attack for one life. Yeah. Um, so he attacks my face. I counter out of it. He attacks my face again for nine. I block, and this was the mistake. I should have just tanked the hit. My my concern was that he would have a removal spell on my pacifista and then hit me for like eight or or whatever, and then I die. But the problem with that is like if he had a removal spell, he wouldn't have bothered with the dofi. Yeah. He would have just played removal spell and then like seven, nine, eleven to me or whatever, like right. some like whatever good numbers work. So um, I I shouldn't have blocked. And I think he should have just been attacking my Dofi the entire time. But I blocked. Then he just attacked my Dofi. And I'm like, oh, I, I can't win. Um, mm-hmm. And I, if he attacked, I think if he played optimally, he would have always won. Yep. But I did have that like sliver of hope that I screwed up when it's a long day. Um, no, yeah. And also it's yeah. like sometimes you just fall into the trap of like this has always been the like the, like the, the like play that you need to make. But you just like yeah. forget the fact that like. You also have to win the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like... Yeah, it, it's whatever. Like I said, I picked this deck up last week. I'd, yeah. I'd never played a queen before. Or I played it. I played like one queen. Um, I had the red rock against that other queen. It's a lot easier. Um, you know, I had a chance, but that's fine. Uh, I still squeaked out the second. All of my opponents had like very good... Uh, like, they all had very good records. They were able to carry my tiebreakers. So I can't complain too much as long as I didn't get third, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, taking up the deck last minute and finishing second is an incredible accomplishment. Like nothing to be, yeah. uh, nothing to be ashamed of or whatever, but like, you know, things go right your way sometimes. Um, so uh, any- dude, everything went right. Yeah. My ways. Like I said, I was drawing hot. I was triggering, uh, a lot of stuff out of life. Um, the matchups are like the matchups that you dream of in a tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like if I told you, you had like eight, you know, like let's say seven out of nine good matchups and you just need to like squeak out of win against one of your bad matchups then like you, you take that every time you're chilling yeah yeah um so moving forward would you play blue again would you would you are you a croc enjoyer or is this just like a one-time one and done i don't know so <laughs> I, I i do i do just i just want to play like random decks now just because like I, I got my big my big finish yeah, like, yeah, I, had, yeah. I had previous regional tops and like treasure cup tops but like nothing like super crazy, uh, even uh, like I, I had my Nats invite and that was when I was gonna like take it seriously. I was just kind of playing for vibes right sure. now. Uh, I think Crocodile is still a very 
It's a fine choice. It's very good into like white beard. I, I treat it very similar to like Katakuri, where it has like a very similar matchup spread to Katakuri, except it's bad against Zoro instead of Katakuri with white beard. And based on like the, you know the the meta game data that I hadn't looked at prior, uh, white beard's a lot more popular than Zoro. I yeah. think fade a, fade a couple laws or like you know maybe the laws don't draw any green cards. And then you're good to go in a tournament with Croc. Absolutely. Um, well, thank you, Freddie. It was a very good time here. Uh, if people want to find you, where can they find you? Like to follow you, whatever, you know? Uh, it's it's at like Fworth on Twitter. Like, uh, you know, I, I don't post. This is my It's, it's on the screen like, too, so you guys can check that out. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the, you know, it's right, right there. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be posting anything interesting there. I'll happily accept the follows and the likes. <laughs> But that's about it. Like, I have two more <clears throat> regionals coming up. Uh, I, I don't even think... Uh, it, I'm going to be playing for participation, like always. <laughs> yeah, having a good time. I think that's the optimal way to engage with uh, webcam tournaments. Absolutely. And I think I'll try to have more in-person games or local games posted on this channel. So you'll definitely see more of Freddy as we move forward, guys. Yeah. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, Freddy. And please like and subscribe, guys. Peace out.